I recently heard on a podcast that in uh, Mere Christianity, C.S. Lewis said something like this, I'd rather be a prostitute in the back row asking God for repentance than the prig on, on row four judging her. Now, they actually, I looked it up, they actually got the quote a little wrong because he actually went on to say that it's better to, to be neither a prig nor a prostitute. But they got the essence right. Essentially, C.S. Lewis was highlighting the fact that God cares less about how righteous we make ourselves and more about how we humbly come to him, trusting in Jesus. See, when you come to believe in Jesus as your Savior, you find that you're so insanely blessed in him. It doesn't matter anymore what others think about you or or even what you think about yourself. Paul said that he considered it such a small thing to be judged by anyone. So he didn't even judge himself because he knew that he was completely forgiven by God. In a segment called Deep Thoughts on Saturday Night Live, uh, Jack Handy, great theologian, said, Before you criticize someone, you should walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you criticize them, you are a mile away from them and you have their shoes. See, once you realize how much you've been forgiven in Jesus, criticizing others and being criticized by others just seems like such a small thing. When you find that you have God's approval, not because you earned it, but because Jesus earned it for you through dying on the cross and and rising again, then you find that you no longer need the approval of others. It doesn't matter. Who cares? You find that God is good and he's been so good to you, even though you've sinned against him. He's so good. This is a picture of uh, Bethel Baptist Church in Clayton uh, County, Georgia. Um, On a Sunday evening in August of this year, this church steeple was struck by lightning at 6 p.m. and the entire church burnt to the ground. And you know what? Not a single sinner was in the church at the time. Because it happened about an hour after everybody left. In fact, usually the pastor's son would have been there uploading video from the services that day. But even he had gone home because the internet wasn't working that day. Maybe by God's providence. So God spared all of the sinners from being struck by lightning, including the the pastor's own son. So I'm grateful for you, Corey. I'm glad that um, you're not going to get struck by lightning. Well, hopefully today. Despite the common thought, God is not like Zeus from the Greek mythology, eager to launch lightning bolts at people anytime anyone makes him angry. No, the real God, our God, is eager to show sinners like us grace. Grace. So even if you don't feel very blessed, because life is hard, even then, you can know that God loves you. And he invites you to rest in him rest in his grace, to know him, so that you see that God himself in Christ is the greatest blessing. Jesus died and rose again to forgive you, so that you can know him and rest in his love for you, and experience the blessing of his goodness towards sinners.